Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, 1111 Butterfly Effect, where transformation happens and knowledge is power. Most definitely. Thank you all for joining my Divine Spirit and I here at the table today. January 14th, uh, we're going to be covering January 14th, 15th, and 16th for a midweek check-in. Yes, we are doing a Twin Flame Journey midweek check-in. And we're using the Romance Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue for the message. We already cleared the energy and did a pre-shuffle, so we're going to just give the cards a quick shuffle or three and get right into the message so this is a midweek check-in check it in between the divine feminine and the divine masculine to see what the goings on are huh to see where some of us are at on this journey on this twin flame journey yes and we're going to cover midweek january 14th 15th and 16th that's that's tuesday wednesday and thursday it's kind of been a interesting week or so we go from you know, New Year's to today, or just after New Year's to today. It's, the energy has been interesting. Up and down, hot and cold, yin and yang, right? So twin flame. <clears throat> you know, my direction has been affected. My sensory perception is... A little off kilter, but it's getting better. Now that the eclipse and the full moon has passed, things are clearing up. The air is clearing up. My head is not in the clouds, so to speak. Coming down from the clouds. Coming down from cloud nine. Right? That's Katy Perry. Hmm? So today, I'm going to ask the Romance Angels Oracle and my Divine Spirit for a midweek check-in message for us Divine Feminine, Divine Masculines on this Twin Flame journey. Again, um, if you like what you see in here, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and help support this channel. Yes, show your support. And uh, help this channel continue to share the good news of this Twin Flame journey. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, my Divine Spirit. Thank you, Angels, Romance Angels, Oracle. Please offer us up a message for the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculines to hang on to, grasp, a hold of, and be inspired by or motivated thereof to take what might be the next step of this journey. That's too many cards. Thank you, Spirit. One to begin with. Two will be fine. Three will end this message in line. Retreat. First card, thank you, Spirit. It was two more cards to complete this Romance Angels message. Midweek check in, Twin Flame Journey midweek check in. Mm hmm. Retreat and free yourself. The unicorn. Mm hmm. Unicorns in prison. Remember? <laughs> I didn't show you yet, huh? Something I ran into. Yeah. Unicorn poop. Okay? <laughs> My DM is a unicorn. Uh, definitely. 
and I came across this unicorn, unicorn poop, unicorn poop. Oh, that's a slip of the tongue. Unicorn poop for a reason, okay? Because I'm so tired of the bullshit that maybe I'll like the unicorn poop better, right? <laughs> All right, we have three cards for a message. Anything else? Last minute. You want to drop on the table. Romance Angels Oracle. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> the whole deck. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> the whole deck won't work. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. All right, I think that's it. That's why they're getting funny, right? Anything else? No. All right, I'm just going to go at the bottom of the deck then, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, it is getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Overall energy. Getting to know each other. Well, something that might be a good plan that's going to take place, has taken place, or might take place, is retreat. Somebody's retreating. Is it both the divine masculine and feminine? It's time to disconnect from the world. Why? To get to know each other. That's why. <laughs> Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. It's time to pay attention to each other. Time to take a retreat. You're thinking about it. The past is now bringing you to this moment of retreat <clears throat> so that you can, whether you're with your divine partner or not, so you can free yourself, free yourself from whatever that is caged you in, fenced you in. It's time to take back control of your life. Right? To be free. You know? Especially if you're a magical unicorn. Nobody should have you fenced in and under their control. Your free spirit. Your magical spirit. It's time to take back control of your life. Free yourself. That's the action. Okay? If that's where you've been in retreat, okay, retreat, somebody's holding you back, you're holding yourself back, you decided to take the retreat for healing, <clears throat> it's over. It's time to free yourself. Right? Why? Because you have a past life relationship, a soulmate, a twin flame soulmate coming in. If they haven't already came in, come in. If you haven't already met, you're about to meet. Right? Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Right? Yeah. You know, you you've you've taken the time to retreat. You have done the healing. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yes, you've done that. You haven't, that's what you need to do to free yourself. If you have taken the retreat already, you are free. You have freed yourself 
from that which binds you, from that which cages you, from that which holds you back from your destiny. And what is your destiny? A past life relationship? You have known each other before. There's nothing to be afraid of. Blonde and brunette. Hmm. I'm sexy as sexy AF, man. Right there. Right? So now's the time. Overall energy, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And spirit is there with you. You know, most definitely. Spirit is right there, watching over things, making sure they go as planned making sure everybody's in their own lane in their right spot where they need to be you know because you know that's What this journey, part of this journey is about is, you know, to be in union. And to have that, you know, you have to heal. You have to retreat and heal yourself. You have to set yourself free from that that burdens you, that that holds you back, that which keeps you fenced in. Why? Because this is coming in if it hasn't already arrived. Past life relationship. So give it a chance. Getting to know each other deepens the bond. Hmm? Let's see if we can get any energy around this, huh? I'm going to use the Energy Oracle, Oracle Cards by Sandra Day Taylor. Real quick. Just to see what kind of energy we have circling around this. Midweek check-in. See if we can move forward and make some progress and get past our blocks. Woman holding a coin. 42. Any other messages? It's too many. Regarding the energy of this midweek check-in. Mid Twin Flame Journey midweek check-in for January 14th, 15th, and 16th between the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. Please, Energy Oracle, my Divine Spirit, offer us up the messages we need to clarify our journey. Storm warning. Nice. Oh, we had one come out. In the world. Uh, anything else? Oh, my goodness. Hmm. Okay.
Bottom of the deck. Victory. It's a 10. It's like the 10 of cups, huh? Victory. Look at that crown, huh? She has her crown, or is that somebody's crown she's about to crown someone with? Hmm? Woman holding the coin, sitting back. She's holding it, yeah. She's not, you know, again, she's not holding it tight. She's showing it off. She is showing off here. And she has her guides with her. Lots of violet. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That's her crown chakra. Right here. All this violet. Here and here. With some red. The cat's even wearing a violet collar. See? Heart chakra. Lots of love going on there. Is it love for money? Or is it love for her divine masculine? And she's making that money for her honey. Huh? Might be the case. While they're in retreat. Making that coin. Hmm? Well... <laughs> Yeah, whether it be a tower or a storm, are we having a storm warning here? Is the storm about to hit, or is the storm passing, and the good times are about to happen, right? Hmm? Well, if you look at these pillars... See these pillars here? And they're kind of broken up, like broken free from the storm. Broke free, well, look, it's kind of like those that are caging in this unicorn, the pillars. And now they're broken free, right? They've survived the storm and broke free. Yes. I'd say that's some clarity. <laughs> All resulting in what? The world. Yep, 29. That boils down to an 11. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You are the world to each other. Right? Been there, done that, and ready to do it again. Because that's what this is about. Right? World. Hello, world. <laughs> that's the possibility. My goodness. Getting to know each other is the victory. Amen to that. Ten. Completion. Right? I'd say that's a good midweek check-in. Wouldn't you? Yep. You know? Retreating. Healing. Doing the work. Making the coin. Preparing. All of that. Trudging through the healing and the good and the bad, going through the karmic lessons, releasing the karma, going through the storm, okay? Freeing yourself. Breaking free. Right? Freeing yourself. For what? For your world. For your 
whole new world, right? With your twin flame soulmate. Yes, indeed, victory. I'd say yes. That's victory. All right. Great midweek check-in. Thank you for joining us here at the table for this check-in. If you like what you see in here, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, 1111 Butterfly Effect. To help us continue to grow and share the good news of this Twin Flame journey with you. And there is good news. It is not all bad. And in every bad, there is abundance. There is a blessing. And there is your blessing. You're free. Right? Free to fulfill your destiny. Yep. A whole new world. Oh. I need to learn that song. <laughs> All right. Until then, enjoy the ride. Are you ready for the storm warning? Or is the storm fast? Where are you at in this journey? Let me know in the comments. Let me know where you're at and how this message resonates for you and stay tuned for the next one it's just around the corner until then take care bye bye